We are learning more about this hit and run crash that left one man dead. Jose Aguilar is accused of hitting Barry Lafferty while he walked along an East Nashville road. News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy was at the courthouse where investigators revealed Aguilar may have been drunk. Jose Aguilar told police he had consumed 12 beers the night he hit and killed Barry Lafferty. Now at this point, it's not clear if he was drunk at the time of the crash, but we do know Lafferty was hit so hard he broke several bones and his brain was bleeding. Those are the devastating details his family heard in this courtroom. Detectives described surveillance video that shows Lafferty's last few moments of life filled with unimaginable violence. First, he was involved in a fight. Three men beat him on the side of an East Nashville road. After the fight, no, sir, he doesn't appear steady. I, the best of my recollection, he has to be helped to his feet and it kind of does look like he's stumbling around. Moments later, Aguilar allegedly crossed into the wrong lane. His car slammed into Lafferty. Does it appear that the defendant brakes at all? No. Does it appear that he swerves out of the way to avoid any the victim? No. Aguilar told police the crash was an accident. A judge decided there is probable cause and the case will move forward. Reporting in Nashville, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. Investigators say the car that killed Lafferty was registered to Aguilar. He is facing criminal homicide charges. And a new development tonight in the case against a former Chattanooga bus driver. Jonathan, Jonathan uh, Walker's attorney is asking that certain evidence be exempt from his trial. You may remember Walker was behind the wheel of a school bus when it crashed, killing six children in November of last year. A Chattanooga television station is reporting his attorney says using photographs of that crash and victims, phone calls made from the jail and Walker's cell phone and driving records prior to the crash would be unfair to enter in the trial. The case is set to go on trial in March.